Welcome. Over the years, I've trained on many punching bags and also owned many punching bags. Some good, some not so good. I got my first punch bag at the age of 14. It was a speed boost. If I know what I know now, I would never have got there. I'll tell you why later in the video. But for now, I want to share my experiences with you and help you decide on what punching bag you want to get and what punching bag is going to suit your situation. My name is Richie, this is Fitness First Step. So first up, we've got the Hanging Straight Bag. This one is the most popular one. I love this bag, it weighs 22 kilograms. They say you should buy a punch bag that weighs half your weight. That's not true. That is 22 kilograms. I am nigh on 100 kilograms, 16 stone. And this has been one of the best punching bags I have bought. And I give it a good beat in most days by doing my workout. So, things to consider. Where are you going to hang this punch bag? What ceiling do you have? Do you have a joist with plaster balls? If you do, this is going to be a tough one to hang. Got to get it in a joist next to the wall. That is where I would put it. If you're going to hang this bag, heavy bag, in the centre of your joist, it's going to bow the joist there and it could cause damage to the plaster ball and the fixings around it. So if the joist goes into the wall here, it's a bit more sturdy there and there'll be less movement. I'm not saying don't hang it in the centre of the ceiling, I'm just saying if you hang it next to a wall, near the wall, the weight load is going to be handled a bit better. Now I've got a concrete ceiling, I can basically hang that anywhere I want in this room. I chose to hang it there because I've got the wall there. At the moment, it's fixed into concrete by two bowls. And that has never troubled me whatsoever. Another reason to hang the bag 100mm or 10 centimetres, whatever way you want to look at it, from the wall is when you're punching, it's not swinging. Normally you'll see videos of people holding a punch bag while someone's punching it. And you've got to think, the more this swings about, the more stress it's going to put on them fixings. So look into your fixings too. I love this bag. There's one thing I miss from this bag, and that is being able to do another cut. And that's where Mr. Slam Man comes in. So if you don't think your ceiling is strong enough to hold one of these, um, you can get a free standing one. So that's another type of uh, punch bag. Free stand ones are good, obviously slam man's free standing, you can get slam man, you can get free standing punch bags, which is good. Then you've got to consider your flooring. This slam man, I punch him all around this room, but I have to put a bit of rubber underneath so he doesn't move in the much. And he's not tilting over. So you've got to think if your free standing punch bag is going on a carpet, it's going to wear and tear that carpet. Uh, so put, maybe put another bit of carpet underneath that. When you do get a freestanding punch bag or slam man or a bob, you will have to fill it up with either water or sand. Also, the slam man here, it can go, it can go down. So if you've got kids, they might want to smack that about. Obviously, it doesn't come with this on. Uh, the one good thing about a slam man is it's got a draw. And that's the one thing I miss on the heavy bag. When you're throwing punches, bang, it's good to be able to do to get that draw, to practice them punches. That is what you want to be doing because they are the knockout punches. And throwing uppercuts, you're using different parts of your core, so you're bringing other muscles into play. But as I say, the uppercut punch is one thing I miss on these bags but you can get an angled shaped hanging bag so you can do them uppercuts now that is probably the one bag I would buy if I didn't have slow bag. if I could only have a hanging bag I would buy an angled bag so I can go and practice my uppercuts one thing about the slab man this bit here is plastic so really you can only punch the face and the body also, um, it has got a light system you can put on and it will flash and you've got to punch it to put the lights out, punch it to put the lights out. 
But to be honest, I've not really used the lights since creating my workouts, so I won't use them for a few years. To be honest, if I had a choice out of this one and Bob, I would choose Bob. Aww. Simply because it's like a realistic punch. And it's more realistic hitting something. It's like hitting a person, obviously with no arms, which is a bit unfair. You want your punches to be as realistic, to feel realistic as possible. He's got the jaw, he's got the side, you would be like fighting a person, basically. So, with the free stand ones, you've got to take into consideration what floor you've got, and is it going to be sliding around a bit? But you can always put stuff underneath it, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, talking of floors, I've also got this, the floor to ceiling ball. This is totally one of my favourite punch balls. It's for speed. It's not for power. Most people that come into my gym, they come in, they see the ball, bang, they punch it as hard as they can, and it's swinging about, and, and I tell them, you've got to hit that again now. So basically it's not for power, it's for accuracy, it's for speed, and it's for stamina building. So it's similar to a speed ball. This is very light, so it's got one fixing. You can get away with one fixing into a joist for that, and that could probably be anywhere in the room if it was in the centre of your joist. So if it was in the centre of your room, you upstairs you might feel the movement a touch. But basically it's a light ball, so it's not pulling weight about, it's not damaging anything. Also, that did not come with it. This is an anchor point for a speed ball. I'll put a link in the description for one of them. You really do need one of them, otherwise you're going to have to fix it to the floor, which I first did before they was even invented. So, a floor to ceiling ball will help you build stamina and accuracy. Power comes with stamina. The more you've got in you, the harder your punches are going to stay. And it's not very noisy, so this would be a good one to have if you lived in like a bed sit or something. I said before it's called a floor to ceiling ball, but some people also call it speed ball. But this is a speed ball. That is the first punch bag I ever had. It is so noisy, my neighbours hated me. I used to live in a council flat, that was up on a wall. <coughs> neighbours, neighbours, neighbours. All hated me so it got to a point I couldn't really use it so I wouldn't really say you could use that in a home environment and what does it do it's pure stamina there's no accuracy there this is, this is accuracy because you've got to follow the ball around whereas this one bang 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 that's all you do so I would never recommend that to anyone really if it was at a gym you could do a quick 10 minutes on there just to build a bit of stamina but my workout, the punch mag workout, is great for building stamina, power, speed, and at the same time, you will be toning up all your muscles. These are my older ones, I boxing rounds, but I've changed the name, and it's still very similar to the punch mag workout. You can watch this video at the end of this video if you want to look further into that. So, that's my experience with punching bags, and I hope you get something from that. To sum it all up, if I was in a small flat, I would go for a floor to ceiling ball, either this one or a double one. If I had a good ceiling in a bigger apartment, I would go for a hanging bag, but I would want the angled hanging bag. But ultimately, if I had a good floor and a good ceiling, I really would want Bob. Not saying that he ain't good. I just think Bob will be a little bit better, a little bit more realistic for your punches. I have put some links in the description, but also if you flip over to my punch bag workout website, on the link in the description, you can have a look at the punch bags that I have researched and they're the ones I will go for. So I hope to see you again soon. My name is Richie. This is Fitness First Steps. Adios.